Metal clays are available in, uh, of course, the precious metals, so sterling silver and pure gold. You can also get them now in bronze and brass. They also make a copper clay wow. and a steel and an iron. And there are some other varieties just kind of hanging out and under development too. Okay, so you could really make a lot of different metals with this. It really is yeah. a metal maker. Yeah, you have a whole spectrum of these clays and they're commercially available materials usually used just by the jewelry industry. Okay, so uh, you mentioned some of the uh, end users that might, might mm -hmm. use it, jewelers, crafts people. Uh, just just yeah. kind of, can you more elaborate a little more? What are, what are just, uh, name just, I don't know, a list of uh, end user applications sure. you might see, whether it's an individual or perhaps a company or whatever. Right, right. Yeah, the, the end users uh, are people in, in technical and in artistic, just mm -hmm. creative fields. Uh, I think about uh, my wife who likes to make jewelry, she likes beading and she also likes creating little metal pieces. Well, she can use this to just make uh, items directly for right. rings and, and earrings and things. Also, you can make custom uh, accessories like like uh, toggles and special buttons and things for clothing. Yeah. Uh, on the more technical side, people making uh, making little robots or making little cars could now print out the chassis for small cars, or they could print out gears and gear boxes that they need. You can even, if you're mixing the right materials, for instance, iron and ceramic and copper, you can even print and test your own motor designs. I printed, as an example, I printed a really small impulse turbine, attached it to a tiny generator and blew air at it and I was able to light up some LEDs. So yeah. it's kind of, uh, you know, I made a turbine engine at home with yeah. this. So the possibilities are, are uh, limited only by your imagination. Do I see 3D printing really offsetting or replacing more traditional sorts of manufacture? Not exactly, but I think that there will be a, a, a use for it. An example would be, let's say I needed one really odd size metric bolt. So the bolts are made for pennies on the dollar somewhere in India. Uh, but for me to get just one, I have to order a whole bag full. So I might spend a lot more getting one bolt from a factory in India than I would just printing the one metric bolt and firing it at home. Okay. So it, it has a real purpose when you're dealing with specialty or with repairs or just with anything that involves maybe a one-off situation. Yeah. It gives you much saves more flexibility. You yeah, it saves you, saves you money, gives you a kind of flexibility that you just don't have when you're dealing with large-scale industry and worldwide shipping.